Hi, my name is Jerry and I act as a mentor at Kent Street Senior High School uh, and I've been working with EdConnect for just under a year now. Hello, my name is Han Marie and I've been volunteering with EdConnect as a mentor for the past three years. Uh, most recently I have been working one-on-one -on -one with a girl at a local special needs school in West Melbourne. Hi, my name's Linda and I'm a learning support volunteer at Flowerstale Primary School. I've been with EdConnect now since 2018 and I love and learning with Good day everyone. My name is Bill. at risk junior high school boys at Kalamunda Senior High School. My name's Ray and I mentor at Bell Ridge Secondary College in Perth's northern suburbs. I've been mentoring there for the last two years. Why do I volunteer? Well, as a grandparent, you come to realise you've got a whole lifetime of experience that you can pass on to some of these vulnerable children who don't have such a figure in their life that they can talk to and uh, just relate to generally. So that's, that's one of the reasons that I volunteer. Why do I volunteer? Well, for me, it's all about paying back and paying forward. I was raised the eldest of seven children in a loving and nurturing family environment. I've also had the privilege and good fortune to be able to rear three children of my own and have them reward me in turn with seven gorgeous grandchildren. I am indeed a very lucky man. With my 70 odd years of life experience so far, combined with a skill set acquired working as a social worker in child protection, I felt compelled to volunteer and hoped to be able to offer some guidance, support and encouragement to benefit those less fortunate and at risk young boys who are about to walk their first steps on that bridge to manhood. I took up volunteering after I retired and I was browsing through the advertisements online and I, Ed Connects ad came up and it just appealed to me. I've had I have grandchildren and they're all grown up and I just was so delighted to be part of their growing up that I decided that I wanted to volunteer with children as I just love them so much. And for me, the joy when you walk into the classroom every week, seeing their smiling faces and their enthusiasm for learning, it just brightens my day for the whole week. What I love about volunteering is honestly uh, spending time with young people. I love hearing from them, getting to know them, learning from them, um, empowering them, helping them develop skills, the list goes on. Um, but yeah, I really love being able to provide a safe space for young people where they can just um, express themselves and be themselves without a fear of judgment. The best thing about mentoring, as opposed to learning support, is that there is no learning component. If the kids want to draw or play board games or that, that's what we do. Otherwise, we sit and talk, mostly stuff about what they're doing outside of school at weekends or about their hobbies. An 80-year-old talking to 14 and 15-year-olds doesn't equal much in common. An excellent thing. I'm a dinosaur who never played video games or use the internet with a wealth of irrelevant, long-winded stories that help to pass the time of that excellent one hour out of classroom. I don't present as an authority figure. I'm safe. The relaxed atmosphere provided by the library staff makes for an enjoyable time where we can be ourselves with no preconditions. I found mentoring experiences so far to be very rewarding, stimulating and somewhat challenging at times too, but overall it's been a lot of fun. Um, 
some of the changes that I've seen in uh, students that I've mentored is definitely a growth in self-confidence. I've seen that, um, you know, in most of my students that I mentored actually. Um, but one girl really stands out for me um, that I've uh, we did origami together uh, for a couple of weeks. And at the start, you know, she was like, this is difficult, I can't do this. Um, and uh, we just kept going at it. She was really dedicated to keep giving um, origami a go every week. Um, so we just kept going at it and I just kept reinforcing like, there's no mistakes here, like practice makes perfect, like you've got this, you know, those kind of things. Um, and by the end of it, like after a couple of weeks, she said something and I can't remember what it was exactly, um, but it really stood out to me that she was able to recognize her own strength and her own dedication um, and work that she's put into this origami. Um, and I think that is really important and I just loved being able to see a student recognize their own self-efficacy and their own strengths and I think they can take that with them outside of this, you know, the mentoring session uh, when I'm not there. Um, and that was just beautiful to be, to be part of and to see, to see happen in front of my eyes. They all possess developing personalities that are wrestling with the pressures of modern day living. And they're not always coping well. If they can fidget, not concentrate, even fall asleep in their time with me, they may integrate better when they return to the class, even sit still and focus for a while. Stories of their home life can disturb, but they're resourceful and committed to the challenges they face. I come away every week a little wiser than the week before. I learn more from the interaction than they do. What I've learned most from my students is a developing understanding of contemporary youth and their views on life. I also enjoy being able to share some of my lived experience to hopefully benefit their life journey. And then there was a funny moment that I'd like to share. Um, one of the girls in the grade three happened to corner me in the um, outside one day and she said to me, do you believe in Santa? And I thought, oh my goodness, how am I going to answer this question? And so I thought, I might just turn the question back on her. And I said, do you believe in Santa? Luckily for me, she said, I do. So that was the end of that. So that was uh, something that I will treasure. And I'm sure that there will be many more moments like that at Joel Stumper. If I can offer any advice at all, which might benefit your journey in mentoring, it would be to develop really good relationships with both your school coordinator and especially your liaison officer at EdConnect in order to best benefit the safety, well-being and growth of your students. Good luck. Make sure to have fun. Take care.